What's good? God is gang and God gang. Y'all know I know I've been away for a while, but guess what? It's time for Goddess Mike. It's 2022 and we finna kick off the next season. Whatever season it is when you see this, that's what season we in, okay? It's a high vibration uh, podcast, but we call it a Godcast cause I'm your girl Nisi Red the Goddess. I hope y'all have missed me cause I sure have missed y'all. So we gonna vibrate today and I wanna invite y'all to vibrate with me with a, a awesome, okay, video guide. I'm gonna tell y'all who it is when I come back, okay? With Goddess Mike. Okay, what's up, y'all? Got this mic in the building. Got this gang. Y'all make some noise. If y'all in here with me today, y'all know what we finna do. We finna introduce an awesome artist. He not an artist, but he an artist to me because he gives us art through his craft, his talent, God-given talent at that. Okay, y'all. So y'all know it's a God cast, but today it's a vibe cast. Okay, y'all give it up for my special, special guest. Mr. Tiger King, King's vision himself. <laughs> What's, up, What's up, Tiger? I'm so excited to have Leah you here. Jackson. Leah Jackson. Yeah, thank you for coming at 16 bars. 16 bars. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. This your first time here? Yes, ma'am. That's all right, because I hope you'll come back. You know, because I do my little, I do my weekly sign cast thing over here, you know, so gotcha. maybe we'll have you on that show one day, but today you on Goddess Mike. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> we live with Goddess Mike then. Yeah, we are. So, you from Gunnison, right? Gunnison, Mississippi. And you stay in Hattiesburg. <laughs> on and off. We ain't going to tell y'all where you stay, because that ain't how I've been. I've been saying, like, it's just a place I go to duck off in. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you very busy, right? Yeah, I just came from Vegas. <laughs> now, if y'all don't know who he is, give him your social media before we get out into it. Oh, my Facebook type King Vision page, King's Vision. My Instagram is Respect Division, and my YouTube is Tiger King. So if you find him on Wayne, you can find him on all of them, okay? Because you're going to be wanting to True. find his music. Oh, not his music. <laughs> you swear I'm my artist. <laughs> bad on it. Y'all, it's just like his videos that he do, they are so awesome. Like, I be looking at his stuff. He be having artists on there that I don't know, okay? So and after you watch the video, you be like, who is that gonna look him up? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, forgive me. You know, I do respect you as a videographer. You know, like, oh, thank you, you awesome. Thank you. If y'all ain't seen his stuff, go find him. Go thank find you. him. Yeah, but um, so you know, I really wanted to talk to you today about the digital era because you are a videographer, you deal with frames in whatever respect, you know, or whatever. But you know, I know you're aware that things are changing in the world right now, you know, digitally. Hey. Are you familiar with the metaverse? Honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. No, you have no <laughs> idea, you have no idea what's about to go on. So, it's really a virtual um stance on platform, okay? It came from Facebook. You know, they changed Facebook. Facebook is actually metaverse now. Oh, yes, I heard right? about that. So if you look at the bottom of Facebook, now we got the metaverse logo. On, it ain't Facebook no more. It really ain't, yeah, okay. but I don't pay attention to that. I <laughs> forget that. Okay, but you're a videographer, you know, and so your job is to be, like, all up in the digital era, right? Yes, ma'am. All up in it, yeah, in your work or whatever. You know, you do period. I so do, do you, wrong, like, <laughs> you just be doing your thing? Yeah, like, I don't be trying to be in everybody else's stuff. I've been, I like, you. to myself in my own lane, trying to just get these videos out and connect with people. Yes, <laughs> yeah. that's your business. So he a businessman, y'all. I don't know if y'all knew that. But y'all know now. Okay, so how do you plan for a video shoot? Honestly, it depends on what you're trying to do, as in like, you send me your music and you say you want a treatment, mm -hmm. hey, I'm gonna write you out a treatment, but you send me your music and say I want a running gun, we gonna pull up, and you have your guns, you have your friends, <laughs> two locations, three locations, and I put a lot of effects and we move on by our day. Okay, so, so it you... it all depends on how much you wanna spend. I got you, so we should come to, oh, it got to do with y'all budget. That's what y'all yeah, trying like, to see. It's, it's a budget, and See, I, business, I mess with a lot business. of people with, Sometimes people want to pay for that low stuff and want that high stuff. So mm -hmm. that's when you, I got to be like, 
Okay, okay, let me take control of what has gonna go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. So don't be playing with Tiger King. Oh, okay? uh, nah, nah, ain't nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, you still, you wanna make sure that people understand, you know, I'm not for play play. So don't play with me. But <laughs> well, at the same time, I wanna satisfy my clients. Yeah, I understand. I understand. I like that too, Tiger. So I'm, I'm really excited because I'm an artist too. I'm excited to work with you on whatever project, you know. So, do you have a preference? Like, uh, what type of music do you prefer to shoot videos for? I'm gonna be honest, I just shot a blues video, I just shot a R&B, I just shot a straight trap, I just shot a little song. It's like, as long so, as I can just listen to it and vibe to it, I buy it all journals. Okay. So, I don't like to listen to it and vibe to it, I'm straight. So, do you listen to all type of music, like on the regular? I, listen, you know, I wake up every morning listen to gospel. So who is your favorite artist? With Jimmy. That was what I was going to say. Don't say <laughs> Kirk Franklin because you say you like Jimmy. gospel. <laughs> so, but you know, just say, say Southern Soul. Southern Soul. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if he's Southern Soul, but I'll give it to TK Soul. TK Soul, of course. He's Southern, Southern Soul. Soul. Yeah, he blue. Okay. He all that. He's so I just had to know. He fit in all the little categories. For me, but what about uh, Neo Soul? You, you lost me on that one. <laughs> you lost me on that one. So not all. What about country? Uh, what's his name? You got a country God artist, yeah. What's his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. I'm not gonna. You even say Garth Brooks is it? Mm -mm. Not Garth. Lucas Graham. Okay, okay. Do you know Lucas Graham? I, I'm familiar with the name, but he, he wasn't on uh, American Idol, is it? Mm -mm. That's not Lucas Graham. Mm -mm. Yeah, a lot. What's of one of his songs? Uh. Mm, I'm gonna go with seven years old. Oh yeah. Once I was seven years that old. That was a good one. Cause yeah. I know that one. You it must be his his popular song. Yeah. Once that's my boy. Seven years old. Yeah, that that's all right there. <laughs> that's how I throw my little country voice on it. Somebody but, said once I was seven years old. <laughs> they know it too. They, there you go. Thank y'all for the help. Okay. But like say if you was at a, a video shoot and something happened to your camera. Like then, what it, would you do? It happened. It has happened. Oh, a difficult <laughs> time at work. Uh, I was at a video shoot and a little incident went down with gunfire and I dropped my camera. Oh my gosh. So did you carry on with the video? No. Like what you did? You just Somebody cut it off? Somebody passed away. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, Rest in peace to that young man yeah. or young lady. That's so sad. He was Tragic. an artist too. So. Wow. Yeah. It must was a club video. Mm-mm, it was outside. That's mine just got shot. That's up for y'all. Put down the weapons. Put down the weapons. That's Rest not cool at all. Rest in peace to him, though. Know yeah. what I'm do our jobs for the, the violence in the city. Yeah. We got to do better, y'all. We got to be more loving and more caring. Do y'all know what the word empathy means? Let's, let's do that, OK? We got to adopt that attribute. You know, let it get in your souls. Like, let it get in your minds. And let it get in your spirit. Like, for real, y'all. If y'all got to get y'all stones, Y'all know I'm all about the stones and energy. We gotta vibrate a little higher. Like that had really just hurt me. I don't even know who that was, but I, I just feel it made me think about it. the family and yeah. everything. And yeah, I, and I, I reached out to the family because you know what I'm saying, like everything was falling back on me because it was like the community had to get behind me, so I wouldn't mm. get charged with conspiracy and murder. Wow, that yeah. is so interesting. It, it went so fast. Like I went from shooting a video to being investigated. That's so heavy, that's deep. I'm gonna leave that alone now. Well, thank you for sharing that with us on God is Mike. You know, I, I, I feel like sometimes when you have to sacrifice yourself for the community, then something like that wouldn't actually like bring you down and it wouldn't stop you. We see you like, still moving, you still I feel like being. God had tested me though. Cause, wow, that's cause what like I'm when I put the camera down for a month, somebody hit me up and say, bro, you wanna go to Cali and shoot a video? <laughs> Look at yeah. God. That's what <laughs> Look at God. Yeah, uh, and yeah. ever since then, I've been moving. Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, I applaud you, if nobody else does, because y'all see, this is King's vision in here, okay? Y'all, make sure y'all go follow him. If you need a video, hit him up. Y'all know, we here at Goddess Mike, we're going to make sure we promote our kings, our queens, our gods, and our goddesses, okay? Do you have anything that you want to say to the people before we push on a little bit? Because I want to play a little game with you. Oh, you know, let the people get to know you a little better. <laughs> Uh, honestly, the only thing I want to say is I'm very thankful for my family being behind me, for real, though, because everywhere I go, you're going to see my sister and my brother. A lot of people don't got support like that, and a lot of rappers hit me up asking about support, how they can get on, how they can do this. I mean, I feel like you don't need support, but at the same time, it's good to have support. 
because in Vegas, I'm with my brother and sister. In Cali, I'm with my brother and sister. In Florida, I'm with them. Like, uh, everywhere I go, I'm with them. If I get, if I sign a deal right now, they coming with me. Family is everything, right? Yeah, like, they everybody don't got that bond that. with their brother and sister like right. me and my sister and brother got. Heavenly. That's a heavenly <laughs> bond. And that ain't no fake bond. That's a real bond. Exactly, because it's blood. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. I, I thank you for sharing that. Oh yeah. God, it's Mike, because y'all need to know about family. Man, I'm sorry. Family, I mean, y'all know like, about family. A lot of people fall out with their family, family, but... Nah, you been keeping it 100. <laughs> like, keep it right here. We starting with family first. Okay. So, you know, you made me think about something when you mentioned family. Do you feel like the air, the air for family is changing with what's going on with like media, you know, like having all the social network platforms and kids being able to have access to iPads and phones. You know, do you feel I like that a, is really taking the role of the parent in the house right now? Yes, because I got a nephew and he learned everything off a of freaking iPad. He learned how to go to the restroom off of iPad. <laughs> we need that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, mean I hate it at the same time, though. You know? Like, I hate it at the same time because we, like, go outside, write an X and an O on the ground, play double duck like, or something. Uh -huh. like. And it's not happening. No, he well, won't nothing but electronics. So how do you feel like we can actually pull, you know, back, like get the reins back? I know, first of all, parents have to, you know, make it like a priority and really take off from that time that we, you know, give into other things and really take control of our kids. I mean, but what do you feel like, you know, can be done? What do you I think feel. we need to do? Like, what is the major hoo-ha to get everybody on board? Let's do this. And then everything changes because we see, like, robots and everything. No changes. It, it's just it's a, it's going a new time zone. It's crazy. It's like kind of scary. Like, my mama get a little behind because she don't like technology like that. Mm. Me and my brother got to do everything for her dealing with technology. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like that with my grandparents. Got to hook up everything. Okay. So, this game that I'm going to play is... Get to know me better. Okay. So, I ain't gonna do word association today. Um, get to know me better. Word association is a game where I give you a word and you give me a song that has the word in it. Ooh, that's a hard game. Right. This ain't wild enough. We ain't doing that today. <laughs> we ain't doing that today. Um, today, I'm going to ask you a this or that type of question. We're going to do that, okay? Okay. okay. And then when you tell me your answer, I want you to give me a time that you have a memory of this certain thing. Okay, okay. You like for example, M&Ms or Skittles? Skittles. Okay, when was the first, do you remember the first time that you had a Skittle and you was like, I like that more than M&M's? Right. <laughs> it got to be on a football game. Football game? Yeah. You mean like you was actually playing a video game or you was watching? No, nah, I'm pretty good ready to play football on oh. a Friday night. Okay, and, and what they, happened? They brought some Skittles to the, uh, to the uh, field. And we had two between Skittles and Eminem. And you Skittles? <laughs> I told both, but Eminem wasn't popping that day. I had to go with the Skittles. You like the Skittles? Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. So, Kraft or Velveeta? Cheese, of course. Velveeta. Velveeta. So, why you like Velveeta? Because my mama put it on the head. Okay. Big ups to mom. You got to eat what mom put. <laughs> you got to eat that. You can get your own food. You're going to eat this, so you're going to go to bed hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, would you rather produce a video for Jay-Z or Nas? Nas. Nas? What's the first Nas song that you ever heard? I ain't no Nas until I started listening to J. Cole. And J. J. Cole? Cole? my favorite rapper. <laughs> and J. Cole look up to Nas. Look, so that makes me like, let me go I see who is Nas. I don't listen to one of them, but you know, J. Cole like Nas, so I like Nas. That's crazy. So, you don't know one Nas song, you just know that he's a who rap mogul? No, no, I don't. That's J. Cole right there. <laughs> <laughs> J. Cole, shout out Nas, and he say I look up to Nas, and he actually flew on the track talking about Nas and uh -huh. how he inspired him, so Nas you know, was a good dude in his song to me. I feel you, because I'm a Beyonce fan, and Beyonce married to Jay-Z, so I'm like, I don't actually help him with Jay-Z, because I'm with Beyonce, so Man, I, I like Jay-Z, because I like him as business-wise. I don't like him as a music-wise. I yeah. can't vibe to his music, but as a business person, what? I love Jay-Z. He got bars, like you gotta <laughs> like really listen to what he said, be like it's dumb down. Yeah, but it's not really dumbed down. They just you like Kobe. Like I like Kobe on the 
interact with kids, as in like he loves his community, but mm -hmm. as in on the basketball court, I don't like Kobe. See, that was, I, that was my other question. You so you like you would rather pick uh, Curry? Mm -mm, I'm a LeBron James fan. Oh. LeBron to the core. He's a goat. So, you know, I ain't gonna even argue with you there. I'm not gonna argue with you. But rest in peace to Kobe. Rest in peace to Kobe. Man. Okay, so I heard you say this earlier, but Kevin... Somebody said number one this song, Nas. Nas. Nice. Uh, Is that Ether. a Nas song? Ether. 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 Is it Ether? Oh, yeah, it's Ether. Oh, He's well. just somebody on there. That was a good song, too. I don't, I I don't like even that. know that song. That's but. the song that made me pay attention to him. I think somebody had came back and did Ether, um, Remy Ma. I can't remember. Cause oh, I don't know um, who he who? is, but we're going to move on. I can't remember either. <laughs> but Sony or Canon? Sony. Sony. And when is, it, is that the first camera that you own? No, man. I own a Nikon 5200 for $200 and made, like, about 20K off it. Okay, second question. So what made you, you know, choose Sony instead? Yeah, what made you move on to a Sony? Because when you shoot in flat on, um, like, Sony, mm -hmm. you don't have no color. You can color grade the whole picture yourself. Oh, Yeah, okay. like, what you see outside is not what you fin finna see in post. Mm -hmm. All the color grading that y'all see on the Emmett Till movie and all that, we color grade that and put that like that. We make it look old-fashioned and all that. Okay. Yeah, that's why I want to read so bad because you can put picture profiles already in the camera. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Did y'all know that? Because I did. I ain't know that. But thank you for sharing that. Oh, you good. Shoot, so East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. <laughs> I feel like Tupac when I'm in Cali. <laughs> I was going to say, so when was the last time you was in Cali? Like, I'll say about three, four months ago. He be out there. Matter of fact, I was in, I'm telling the story, like two months ago, I was in San Francisco. So if you were California, you said this, you can hit Tiger Kid Go too, because he'll shoot you a video, because he be in your tag. Okay, he be out now, there. Now, Beverly Hills was lovely. I'm not going to lie, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? We was living in a mansion. I got lost in that house about three times. <laughs> like, I ain't used to that. I will tell him, I ain't used to that. He keep telling me my room that way. I'm walking in. Which way to go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Which way to go? How you get lost in your old house? That, that ain't my house. I was just saying, that's like, you was there for at least three days because you got lost three days. Yeah. That's, a, that's a big house. Yeah, that's a big house. That's a big house. Okay, so um, who is your favorite videographer? Well, let me ask you this. Do you watch, uh, do you like movies? Are you a movie fan? Like, do you like directors? And, like, do you know them? Like... This is this person, this is this person. I'm beyond the only director that I really inspired to meet and I really been chasing out to is Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, okay. I, I drove to Atlanta about four times to his facility trying to meet this guy. He stays so busy, so gone, and his workers is not gonna let you in. This you is, motivated too, ain't it? That's man, very determined to eat one down there that anytime. It's, it's it like, don't happen for you. Y'all see him some energy. Y'all put do y'all hands like this <laughs> to the screen. Say, Tiger can't go but, get him. Go but, get him, Tiger. I mean, they everybody look at me as the music industry, but the music industry is like, I done learned so much in this music music industry that I wanna do movies. I've been wanna do movies, just the music industry was giving me my buzz. Mm-hmm. I feel once I got the buzz, I, like a lot of people be sending me music just to listen to them and try to put them on a label with me and all that. I'd be like, bro, I'm not a label. I'm just me. You could be. I could You're King's but Vision. King's I, Vision. I'm just me, but my label will be Bosses with Vision, BWV. Okay. Yeah, like, I got I got a lot of stuff I want to do. It just got to be quiet and actually put it in motion. I don't like people that just talk and don't do it. Right, right. Yeah. I definitely feel you on that. Man. You got to be accountable. You hold people yeah, accountable, gotta, too. That's, that's my big word for this year. Tongue is a powerful thing. Mm -hmm. like, what you say, I'm going to listen to it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Because we didn't took up enough of your time. I know you got to get back oh, on the road. Oh, chilling. Do you think? That would just say, but you be working hard. You be out there. You be doing it. So, guys and goddesses, we're going to bid farewell in a peaceful light in life to King's Vision, Mr. Tiger King. Y'all thank him with me for coming. Are we on the Thank air? you, Tiger. No, we ain't. <laughs> it's okay you're gonna get used to it because we're gonna have you on here again okay when you're working on your next project we're gonna help you promote and everything when you do your bwv i need that on here okay we need him on here <laughs> trying to get the guy. chain in progress it's coming it's coming we believe in you and we are really really wrecked 
backing you up. And we're grateful to have you here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So until next time, y'all keep y'all light popping. Keep y'all vibration high, okay? And know that the kingdom is not. No. <laughs> Thank y'all. I love y'all. God is out. Yeah, my bag of magic and it's matching my melanin. Time like music, mixed in motion, queen, I am rising to the top like bubbles. Spirits for my healing. Life like a ritual. Recording studio in Jackson, Mississippi 4652 McWillie Drive Jackson's Industry Recording Studio We also offer online mixing mastering And all of the studio needs Visit 16boardsrecording.webs.com Once again 16boardsrecording.webs.com 16 Boards Recording Studio You can also contact us at 601-622-2922 Located in Jackson, Mississippi 4652 McWillie Drive Your number one industry standard recording studio 16 Bars Offering quality recording Mixing, mastering, editing Music production, live bands voiceovers, and more Contact us today Block rates available Also visit on Instagram at 16 Bars Studio Call KJ at 601-622-2922 Book your session today